Okay, you should see a a warning that you're being recorded, Rabbi. It says Marcus is recording the call. Yes. Okay. So on the phone today, we have Rabbi Stephen Axelman out of New York. Uh, Rabbi, you recently saw the video that uh, Yes California did to the people of Iran. What did you think about that? Well, I disagreed with most of its content. Hmm. Okay. So, and I was intrigued and happy by the fact that there were serious people in this country with very different ideas of foreign policy than I have, with whom I could get along really, really well, especially if we got to live in separately governed states. So that I can respect your right to lead a foreign policy with which I disagree, and you can respect my right, and neither of us are coercing the other into a foreign policy we don't like. Now, I, I do realize you were speaking to, quote, the people of Iran versus the government of Iran, and we could talk about how much I agree with your foreign policy, but I think the bigger issue is, why do you have to have mine, and why do I have to have yours? So... You may not like the video to Iran, but your opinion as an American citizen is, hey, if you crazy Californians want to do that, you go do that. Go be independent. Go do your California thing. I don't necessarily want to be part of that, but I don't have a problem with you Californians doing that. Is that am I saying that? Uh, uh, that reason? nails it 100 okay. percent. I think America was designed to be very much like the EU was in its infancy or before they actually called it the EU. It was sort of an economic union where they agreed to some sort of, you know, lowering of trade barriers and that kind of thing. But they all wanted their own foreign policy. And mm -hmm. I think we're way too big. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, the spectrum of differences in foreign policy in this country, just like interior regular policy, is huge. So if we're not forced to agree with each other, you're not forced to support my ridiculous wars, and I'm not forced to support your ridiculous peace. I think, I think that's really good. So, so let me ask you though. You you've been around. I'm not saying your age, but you've been around a while. I talked about in that video that it wasn't my opinion. It was that looking at California, going back to the 1970s, the biggest protests against Nam were in California. The biggest protest against the Iraq war in 2000s were in California. Californians are basically hippies. Californians were against the nuclear armament of Reagan. Am I wrong in saying these things or does that seem to be the historical character of California going back half a century and is distinctly different from the rest of American culture? So are you asking me, was I raised by a conservative military parent to think the Californians are nuts? Sort of, yes. <laughs> I'm saying, as somebody who's lived in America for a while, have you noticed over years and decades and years that whenever America launches a war in Vietnam or Iraq or wherever, boy, the biggest people protesting that war is in California. Am I way out of line saying that, looking at Vietnam, looking at Iraq, looking at nuclear armament, etc.? No, I don't think you're out of line at all. And by the way, I think California, if they have a large group of people that feels that way, I think they should take a lot of the states that agree with them. And so there's people, so in, people all over this country who agree more with them. Some are in more states, more concentrated than others. But again, it's not just California that believes that way. But there's no reason why California should be forced to support things that they think are at best, um, not worth the money and the effort, at worst, the moral. So, uh, yeah. So, I, you know, when I said to the people of Iran, I, I said, looking at the way California has behaved over decades, if it was independent, it probably be, would be less supportive of military adventures. Um, and I think what we're saying is you're agreeing with that synopsis that I provided. And I think what you're saying, Rabbi, is that you support California forming a pact with other states, as Gavin Newsom recently announced with the states of Oregon and Washington. Am I saying that right, sir? 
Um, I'm pretty sure you're saying it correctly, yes. Okay. I have no problem with states functioning as states. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. As someone oh. said, make America states again. <laughs> that wasn't my line, but it's a great line. And okay. even, you know, even in foreign policy, because again, I'm pretty pro secession. So if I weren't pro secession, then foreign policy, I sort of have to admit that's why we're United States with a lowercase um, u. But since I'm pretty pro secession, I don't see why California can't go its own way totally. It's big enough, it's got a big enough economy, et cetera. I'm preaching to the choir with you. So I, I see no reason why they shouldn't have their own foreign policy. And if, if California was independent and it had a foreign policy that was different from America's, more peaceful, less military, that's okay with you? Hey, California, you can have a separate foreign policy that America that doesn't exactly look like America's, and that's okay for California to do as an independent state. Is that fair? Um, let me put it this way. I'll write you a check. <laughs> okay, Rabbi, thank I'll, you. I'll even think about throwing you a goodbye party. Uh, Rabbi, thank because you for... Again, California uh, pulls the country in a direction that I don't agree with. Hey, fair. Fair. Um, absolutely fair. And that's all we were saying was California culture is different than American culture. It was independent. It probably would have different foreign policy. Uh, to Iran, to any country, South Korea, Germany, wherever. Uh, that's all we're saying. It's probably ridiculous to think that you would have the same foreign policy meetings as, let's say, South Carolina and Georgia, or for that matter, Oklahoma and Texas. Why would we expect you to think the same way? So, okay. maybe the United States was a really good idea with 13 states, but with 50, it doesn't seem to be working out that well. No, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't. Well, um, is the Jewish holiday of Passover over yet, or is it still going on? Uh, ended last night at dark. Uh, what does someone say to say a, a good Passover or, or wish uh, someone in Hebrew good Passover? How do I, how do I say that? Um, in Hebrew, generally people say Chag Sameach, which just means happy holiday. That would, that's generally how you'd say it in Hebrew. Chag Sameach. You get the ch on the Sameach. <laughs> Chag Sameach. Right. Chag Sameach. <laughs> you do trying. that pretty well for California. <laughs> Okay, well, I will get, I gotta go, but I will give you this. This is the only concession I'm giving. We have a huge amount of Jews and Jewish people here in California. We love them, but there's one problem. Californians keep screwing with the bagel. You can't get a traditional bagel out here. All the, the Jewish people that moved out here, they're putting jalapenos in it or Asian seasonings or some other culture. We can't get a traditional bagel out here in California anymore. As I understand, you all only have that in New York City. That is the one concession I'm going to give to you. You have I a better bagel. A of water. What? It's a function of water quality because this, a bagel company here cannot take its recipe and bake the same bagel in Florida. Oh. And apparently it has to do with New York water. That's it. Yes, California announces. Once the COVID-19 emergency is over, we are going to publicly request the California government to invite New York City bagel makers with New York water to California so we can finally get some good bagels. Yeah, it does not work, apparently, even in Florida, because that's where there's a lot of Jewish people, they still complain about it. So it's one of those things you have to give up if you want to get away from all the other wonderful things about Mayor de Blasio in New York City, so... Okay, well, we sent ventilators to New York. We demand high quality bagel makers and New York water later on. Well, we're sending our ventilators to New Jersey right now, I